all our Facebook friends. We're taking a road trip to Montgomery to pick up one of our six daughters. What do you think about that? I think I'm getting gray way too quick. So on this post, we want to talk about Easter coming up. Um, obviously, everybody wants to give thanks around that time of year, but take it to a different a different step and let's talk about what the Easter Bunny brings our kids. Chocolate, candy. Yeah, so, you know, we've been talking a lot about the keto diet, or, well, let me rephrase that. Chuck's been talking a lot about the keto diet. I'm participating, but I've not really been talking that much about it because, as we all know, who likes to talk in the family? Um, Definitely. <laughs> so, with the Easter Bunny coming, I'm going to tell the Easter Bunny this year, and we've already talked to the kids about it, that we're doing get healthy as a family. So we're trying to encourage the kids to know what carbs are, know how to read food labels, know what's healthy for your body. And for all of you Christians out there who um, are on the, I can't think of the name of that diet, but it's the one that um, they have some book for it. A lot of church groups meet and do that type of diet, but it, it's basically um, holistic and no processed foods and that kind of thing. The savory diet. No. But anyway, so that too can be incorporated. So for for just for some ideas, I've been kind of looking, Googling, Pinterest. Um, we're looking at what the kids are interested in. JC, who is my computer nerd back here, my DIY queen, I'm talking that girl can do some DIY. Um, we're looking to talk to the Easter Bunny about bringing things like um, artistic type things, the markers, the colored pencils, the um, the artistic pages where you can draw things, color, stuff like that. And then as a treat, have some type of healthy type treat that the Easter Bunny can can leave them as a, as a nice little maybe for a cheat day. It's called money, folks. Cash. That's what they want nowadays, right? True. We do do, we do do a, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, an Easter egg, a prize egg. So we do that in our Easter egg hunt. Of course, you know, we're thinking a dollar, but the kids say no, like they want five or ten dollars in the prize egg. So, um, no. you know, anything to defer from all the chocolate, all the processed sugar, you're going to be doing your kids a good service. And the sooner you start, the better they can have a knowledge base and the more they can incorporate it into their daily life and not have the struggles that most of our kids have today. Obesity, diabetes, type 2 diabetes is is running rampant and is huge in our youth. So start your kids out right, start teaching them young, and get them involved in the kitchen. Get them involved in things that they can do and make for their lunches, that they can make for their snacks, and we do it as a family. Robin, that's the that's one thing that we started doing that I think everybody should do. Is you know you get your kids involved even at six years old, and you teach them what a food scale is, and you know what grams are, and how many grams of carbs or protein or whatever you can have. So if they get used to doing that, then and they do it as a family. Number one, you're doing everything as a family, so it's family time. It's fun time. Make it fun. I mean, it don't have to be boring. Make it fun and interesting, laugh, joke, and then sit down and eat as a family. And, you know, as they grow older, you know what? It just becomes what they do. It's part of life and not just a diet. Because, I mean, I don't think there's anything quite as bad as going on a diet, losing weight, getting off a diet and it's just like it's called the what the diet roller coaster right because yeah. you're on a diet you get off you wait get the weight back you get back on the diet so that's my thoughts on it and here's the thing in all honesty there's nothing more heart-wrenching or hard as a parent than to feel like you're depriving your children but at the same time what I've learned is there's nothing harder than you know, your child having to overcome something that ultimately is your fault because you haven't taught them to do any better. So, you know, it's never too late to start. And for all the busy moms out there, there's ways to do it. And we're going to link some more of those 
ways and, and easy tips and quick how-tos on our page and just to give you some ideas. So I hope you all have a happy Easter and we'll be uploading more videos later. Peace out.